How's it folks? Today I'm going to show you how you can tasmatize your first Sonoff. Today we're going to be work, work, working with the Sonoff SV and I'll show you how this works. First, um, you need to um, navigate to the Tasmatizer GitHub page and click on Downloads. Download the Tasmatizer EXE file. I'm going to spare you the wait. Um, my internet connection today is exceptionally slow. As you can see, at 36.8 megabytes, it's going to take, well, five minutes. Um, I'll see you once it's downloaded. And finally, um, Tasmota has downloaded. We are still recording. No, we are not recording. Let's carry on recording. And I'm going to show you how this now works. Okay, so we've downloaded the Tasmota. Open it up, go down to your downloads folder if, if it's there. Um, we, it pops up with this error message. Um, go to more info and then you can click run anyway and there you have it the, um, it's already downloaded right guys the next thing that you got to do is download the Tasmota bin and there you, you can see the um, link to that um, in the description but also you can see it in my address bar at the top Right, the one that you want to download is the Tasmota bin. That will automatically be saved down to your downloads folder and then that will be uploaded onto your Sonoff device. Now shift straight into Tasmatizing our first Sonoff. Okie dokes, so <coughs> Very important. Um, in order to tasmatize a sun off, you do need what is called as an called an FTDI adapter. Um, most of your local electronic stores nowadays sell it, and we're going to be switching to this view shortly. Um, I'll show you exactly all the connections, and you can follow along. Over here we have the, the Sonoff SV and over here we have the FTDI adapter um, with a few jumper cables. Now it's important to know when you're connecting up the, the jumper cables, you are connecting up to RX, TX, VCC and ground. Make sure that your FTDI adapter is set to 3.3 volts otherwise you will be blowing up your Sonoff and you will end up having to purchase a new one. When you connect up um, your jumper cables to the Sonoff is please note that your RX and TX are switched. That means that the RX cable from your FTDI adapter goes to the TX on your Sonoff. Right, let's get, get this connected up. Okay, so RX and TX are switched. So, my green cable over here is connected to RX, so it's going to go to TX on the Sonoff. Then we're going to take the white cable, which is connected to um, TX, and it's going to go to RX on the Sonoff. Red cable is connected to um, 
VCC and it's going to go to the 3 volt um, for, for the sun off and lastly blue cable is connected to ground and that's going to ground on the sun off. And there we have it. Okay, just so you can see the, see the connections there. I hope that's clear. Now what we're going to do, to get the sun off into flashing mode, we are going to um, disconnect the power from the sun off. Um, so I'm going to do that by removing the USB port. Um, I'll do this here so that it's in, in frame. Okay, all the lights will, all the lights will go off. Now to get your sun off into flashing mode, you need to hold down um, the shot. You need to be <coughs> ambidextrous to do this. Um, let me just get this all connected up again. And BCC to three volts. Now, let's hold that in position this time around. And at the same time, we're going to be holding down the button over there on the sun off to get it into flashing mode. I'm also, with my other hand, going to be connecting, connecting up the USB cord again. If you've got somebody to help you out with this, it might be easier than struggling like I am. And... Okay, right, hold down button and there we go it's in flashing mode okay next thing we need to do is hit tasmatize Once you have successfully tasmatized your son off, you're going to head on down to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Tasmota network that should have popped up. This should immediately um, bring up the Tasmota page um, and the first thing you're going to do is enter your network SSID. Next, you'll put in your network password and hit save. Hopefully, um, your Tasmatize sign off is going to connect to the network and then you'll be able to access and configure it. Right, now what we're going to do is go on and head, head back to the Wi Fi settings and connect back up to your normal Wi-Fi. Then we're going to go on and open an app called Thing. This is an important app because it shows you exactly what um, devices are connected to your network and their corresponding IP address. This is going to be used um, to help configure the um, Tasmatized Sonoff. So heading over to Thing, I'm going to refresh and check what devices are connected to my network. Okay, and the sign off is connected. I'm going to go on into a browser and put in that IP address. And with some luck it will connect. There we go, and then what we're going to do is go to configuration. Configure module. And over here we're going to choose the, the sign off um, module that you've got, that you've tasmatized. Sign off SV, select that, hit save. 
and your Tesma charging is complete. Congratulations! Congratulations if you managed to get this far.